Hey there, Walter here. We went out shopping today and I got myself a new camera. So, what we're going to do, we're going to do one of these box openings. It's not a box, but this part is. So, it's a box opening. Let's get started. Okay, before I get to the actual opening, what is this exactly? This is a Vivitar wearable life cam. See? Wearable life cam. Must be good for using in the stores and wherever else you want to use it at. A lot of people will use scissors to open this up or something like that. Just snip, 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 snip. It's open. I don't do it that way. I go stab, 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 cut, 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 slash, slash, slash. Ah, here we go. Here it is. Wearable life cam. Rip this open. Well, golly gee. How many goodies do you think they gave us here? Put this package in over here. Okay, empty package. Nothing else left in it. So let's go see what we got, huh? Okay. This life cam is basically the same company as this Vivitar camera I have. I call this one a generic GoPro because it's got all the functions for GoPro and all the attachments for it. Some of the accessories on here. This has to be a power charging cable of some sort. This will fit into the cell phone jacks. I have a bunch of these. This is some kind of a clip. I don't know what just yet, but some kind of a clip here. I'm coming for your nose. Okay, carrying strap is right here around my neck. As long as it doesn't go like this. Also, Looks like some kind of a attachment. I think this is for a bicycle. I think that's what this is for. You know what I'm missing? I'm missing the guide for this. Nope. No, I'm not. Inside the actual envelope here. That's where the guide is. Okay. Now we've got everything. Let's try this again. Alright. Here's a life cam. USB cable, check. Neck strap, also could be a noose, check. Clip mount, check. Still going for the nose. Aha, bicycle mount, that's what this is, check. Built-in lithium battery. Not shown. I guess check. Okay. Lens is right here. Yep. That little hole right there, that's for the microphone. LCD display is right over here. According to the instructions here. USB port and micro SD card slot. Hey, right in there. How about that? Power button's right here. Okay, all these goodies right here. Mode indicator, mode button, that's right here. Busy indicator, that's a little, I guess this is a light as well, that's down here. Shutter button, that's for recording or taking photos. Uh, this is your set indicator, your set button. And then the reset is on the inside here. According to this picture, number 13 is the reset button.
and I see it also. Reset button is that little hole right there by the uh, SD card. Okay, let's see if this thing works. It says to press and hold the power button for three seconds. Well, let's try it. One, two, three. It beeped. I see no lights on it, but it beeped. The display is lit up. So let's see what all this other stuff does. You know what I forgot to put in here? I forgot to put in a micro SD card. I have had no problems with these Vivitar cameras. Well, I have this one here uh, now, and I haven't had any problems because I never used it yet. But my generic GoPro, I've had no problems with that either. This does not have any kind of a screen to look at whatever videos or photos that you take. But it should be okay. So I'm going to take this around between tonight and tomorrow. I'll go ahead and take this around and take some video and some photos and we'll have Mr. Laptop show everything. Okay, this is a neat idea for your camera and your little clip. They just basically snap in together just like so. So now, yeah, there it is. And then it looks like I could just wear this on me. I'm not recording anything here. What makes you think I'm recording something? You can also make a loop around this, around the, uh, the little eye hole here with a little neck, uh, your little neck strap. And then you could actually just carry this around with the clip being held in the back. It could actually be just worn around your neck. Bicycle clip. It looks like the same concept. Same concept. Although there is a problem because your camera is held right here, which means you have to have it underneath your handlebar of your bicycle. Unless there's a way to flip this around. I haven't figured it out yet, so I'll have to take a look at it. I don't really need this bicycle strap. I have an attachment on my bicycle for the other Vivitar, the generic GoPro. So I don't need this at all. But it's nice to hold on to it just in case it's needed for something. Okay, let's take a little video here and see how this works. It beeped. Okay, it's back on again. Okay, this is all set up here. Everything is set. Record button is right in the middle on this side right here. Push that. And it should be recording. Take a look at the camcorder. Take a look at that gorgeous looking guy right there. Looking through the video screen of the camcorder. Oh yes, he's so good looking. Eyeball to eyeball. When the recording is on, the light is going. That tells me it's recording. I hit the button again, the light is off. So that means it had to stop recording. I think. There is a time lapse feature in this. I'm interested in that. I like time lapse photography and everything. So I figure if you set this on a windowsill or whatever it is, Hit the time lapse, let it keep going. It should record constantly and just give you all these different pictures or whatever is going on. I've actually tried it before. It's on my YouTube channel. Check it out down below with the lightning time lapse. Now let's check the photos. Same feature here with the record button is also the shutter button. So let's take a picture. 
Say cheeseburger. It beeped. And time for another one. Say. <laughs> Took a picture. The time lapse off the try at a different time. In the recording feature, the little counter on the screen says 7 minutes 12 seconds. I'm not sure if that's the actual recording time or if it's trying to read an actual clock that's inside. I don't think it's that. I think it's an actual recording time. Nope. I was wrong. Through the magic of actually reading the instructions, you find out what the situation is. Aha! Instructions right here. In video capture and time lapse modes, high stands for 720p. It says 712, but I think 720 is close. I'm not sure. Low stands for VGA. It's just the resolution of the foot of the video frame rates. Uh, however, they call that. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out, but I'm also just gonna try this out tomorrow. I might go ahead and take a little walk through town and take a video of just walking around and everything. Maybe playing around with the time lapse a little bit. But so far, I'm not disappointed at all. This looks to be a small camera. Pretty easy to use. Assuming you follow the instructions, of course. It comes with uh, some nice little attachments to it. And I think it's worth the money that I paid for it. And I bought this at a Walmart. Around... $30 for this thing. It's nice. I like it. This goes along good with this other Vivitar camera I have. Both of them use the micro SD card. Rather easy to charge them up. As far as likability, I like this so far as much as I like my spy pen. I know what you're going to say. No more talk about the spy pen! little troubleshooting guide as well. They also have a image manager software that you can install which I don't need to use. I have image software to, that I already have installed so I don't need to worry about it. Warranty certificate in case you can do anything reckless. Half this stuff on the warranty information does not make sense at all. Ah, here we go. EN is English. FR is French. DE. I have no idea what DE means. IT is Italian. ES must be Espanol. Spanish. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this plugged up into Mr. Laptop. Go ahead and check it out. Uh, get everything set up for this video. Get all the images and videos loaded out there so we can both see what it's going to look like. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So now you have to do what you have to do. You see the links below. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video. You see the comments down below. Go ahead. Put the comments down. Yes. Keep it rated E for everybody. No bad talking around here. No way. So you do that stuff. I'm going to do this stuff. I'm going to catch you later. So until I see you again, 7-3.